Okay, so hi, I'm Mel um, and I own, run, whatever, just simply blank. So I just thought today that I would do a couple of small techniques to help people that are just starting out with, with stamping. Um, mainly to do with sanding, to be honest, uh, and finishing your blanks. So the first one that I wanted to show you uh, was just a couple of bits of equipment that I've got. So this is a, a, just a normal half round file. Got two different sorts of um, nail buffers here. Uh, I've got some Garaflex blocks, which will help for sanding. I'll explain these as I go along. Uh, all in different grades. So I've got a 320, a 400, and a 600 there. So um, they do come uh, harsher than that, um, and they'll be really good for for deep scratches. But um, I'm looking more to sort of finish off your blanks today and the other thing I've got is a couple of sanding discs and these are really cool because they actually stick to your worktop so I'll show you how to use those as well. So the first thing that I just wanted to talk about quickly was um, the laser nobble on, on um, my laser cut blanks and probably other suppliers as well. You can get a small laser nobble uh, where the laser basically goes down and it starts and goes around. It's where it starts and stops to shut uh, to um, cut the shape. So these people often ask me, how do I get rid of these, or how should you know? Can you get rid of them? So I would just use my my half um, half round file, and literally, I always go away from myself and just literally a couple of passes like that, and you can already see that that's gone. Now, obviously, if that leaves you with a slightly rough edge, then I would just do a little bit more either side turn it around and that will get that done and then after that I would just use something um, just to sort of smooth that out you can run it either on like a Garaflex block or you could um, use your your nail buffer um, will just help to finish that off so it's a little bit smoother for you um, on that edge so that's how I would get rid of the laser nobble so that's thing number one the other thing is sometimes when you get um, laser cut blanks, if the laser doesn't quite, uh, it cuts properly, but sometimes it can leave you with, I don't know if, if that will show up on there, but you've got ever such a slight sort of raised bit. Again, you can get rid of that really, really simple with your file and just, I always file away for myself. So a little bit of filing away like that, go all the way around. And then I would just run it across the top like that. And basically that has got rid of that little bit that was along there. So some of these techniques are things that um, when I started stamping six years ago, blanks weren't even tumbled. So we had to learn how to hand sand everything and hand finish everything. So obviously we're a bit luckier these days that a lot of blanks um, require you know not an awful lot of, of finishing but these are really good things to learn so that again is just taking the laser nobble pushing it away from myself I'm just going to file that little bit there turn it over and file it back and then I just sort of run it across the top there and then as I say I would just use a sandpaper or something just to finish that off if you've obviously got a tumbler then popping it in the tumbler will, will also help sort that out so that kind of gives you um, an idea of those. Now if you've got a shape that's a little bit more tricky like this and it's got those marks on them then again this time I would turn the file over and because there's a groove I would use the groove with the groove okay and then just sand sand that edge. I normally always work away from myself um, and that way it just means you can turn the blank around quite quickly and literally it really doesn't take very long at all just to get any little bits bits off and then once you've cleaned that down again you can either just gently go around it with that or you can use some sandpaper and just normal sandpaper and just go around the edges and what you'll end up with is quite a nice smooth finish that you can you know from then then on again you can pop in the tumbler or if you wanted to hammer around it to give it a different effect okay so that's just some little basics of tidying your blanks up a little bit ready for for selling really so the next one i'm going to move on to is sanding <laughs> 